Exam question revision video for GCSE. Higher tier unit one question 18A, which is on trigonometry from graphs. So if we have a look at the bonus material first, um, this circle here has got a radius of one and the blue point on the circumference can move. And this blue point gives us an angle of theta with the X axis and that theta will change as I'm moving the blue dot around. If I drop a perpendicular down onto the X axis, that is going to be opposite the angle theta and then my adjacent to the angle theta would be the blue line. Now, if I consider cos of theta from this triangle, cos of theta is the adjacent over hypotenuse. Our hypotenuse is one, so our cos theta is just equal to this blue line, the value of this blue line as it changes. Therefore, uh, the cos theta is equal to the blue line. We can see that as we rotate the radius of the circle, the values of cos theta repeats. It also shows we can continue above 360. Now, if we move this blue dot, if I make it the angle smaller, take it closer to the x-axis, then my adjacent blue line is going to be bigger. My angle is smaller, but my adjacent will be bigger. And if I move the blue dot in the anti-clockwise direction, which is the usual direction to take, then my angle will get bigger and I'll get to the second quadrant is angles between 90 and 180. And if I've got about the same place on the other side, and I can see my red line will come down to the, to the x-axis and give me an adjacent line equal to minus 0 0.6. And if I carry on past 180 degrees to maybe the same place, then I will get also get minus 0 0.6. So my adjacent, my cause is repeating itself in the second and the third quadrant. And then if I come around to more than 270 degrees to about the same place, then I'll have a positive value for my adjacent. So I'm repeating my angle again. So my angle, say 300 maybe, I don't know, uh, about there and the, the same value uh, I will, as I've got in the first quadrant. But I can carry on past 360, so it can go on forever and ever, like our curve, cos curve. Now we have here in the question, the following diagram shows a sketch of cos theta for values of x from 0 to 360 degrees. So there's our cos curve, but limited between 0 and 360. Of course, it goes on and on. Given that cos of 21 is 0 0.9336, correct to four decimal places. Write down all the solutions of the equation cos x is minus 0.9336 for values of, no, of x between 0 and 360. Now this is a non-calculator paper. So with this type of question, we need to look at the shape of the graph. And we see that the graph has a line of symmetry about the x value of 180 degrees. So we can use this fact to help us find the answers that we are looking for. If we use a calculator, if we had been able to use a calculator to work out the solution of the given equations, i.e. cos 21 is 0 0.9336 or cos minus 1 of 0 0.9336, we would get the solution x is equal to 21. The calculator will always give an answer that's close to zero. So how are we going to find our answers for minus 0 0.9336? Uh, well, we need to draw a horizontal line at the value 0 0.9336 and at the value minus 0 0.9336 because we are going to have to compare them. And as we are able to do this exactly, but it'll reveal an interesting feature. So there's a line for 0 0.9336 about, and there's a line for minus 0 0.9336. The blue is the one that we were given, and the green is the one that we need to find. 
So we are told that our angle here is 21 degrees. So the cos of 21, that's where the blue line crosses the cos line, uh, gives us 21, is 0 0.9336. So what do we notice? We can see that 90 take away 21 gives us 69. So we've got a 69 in that space between our value and 90. Now looking at the symmetry, we need to find the solutions to causes minus the green line. So we have also got 69 between 90 and our green line where it crosses, where the cos curve crosses the green line, which is minus 0.9336. So our first solution will be 90 plus 69, which gives us 159 degrees. Similarly now, over the far end, because we've got two values, the green line crosses the cos curve in two places. So we need to have a look where else can I find uh, a matching value. So we've got a 69 there. So our second solution is 270 minus a 69, which would be 201. So what you need to do is be aware of the symmetry of the graph and where you can put your lines and work out angles that will give you the values that you need.